Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a completely AI-generated advertisement. First, let me show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to create yours. So yes, that ad was completely AI generated. The tool that I used was OpenAI's Sora model, as well as Suno to generate the audio. So these were the two main things that, I've, that I implemented to create the ad. Now, a lot of you would have been able to figure out that this is AI generated, but you have to remember that this is just the start. It's only going to get better from here, which is what's exciting, but also scary. Um, now, if you go over to Sora.com, I think you need to have an OpenAI Teams subscription if I'm not wrong, but the way that I kind of created this ad was I basically first went to Claude and I said, I'd like to make 10 videos using the Sora video generator for an ad for Nepal tourism. And each video would be five seconds in length. And then for each video, give me a detailed prompt. That's pretty much all I did. So it first gave me a prompt for Dawn at Everest Camp. Right, and this is the entire prompt that it generated. Now, if you go here, we can see that these were the two videos as a result of that prompt. So this is the first one, and then this was the second one. I could have chosen whatever video that I liked. Um, this was the second prompt, which was a transitions from Nepal's mountains to the capital city, and then this is of people. Now, even here, we can see there are some elements of AI. I think the way that this woman is clapping, um, I think here where they were making the food and then when she's making the dumplings, like it's, it looks kind of weird there. So there are still elements that need to be edited out, but basically this is what I done was I went in here, I asked it to generate just 10 different frames. And then once you've generated different frames within your, um, Sora platform, if you go to storyboard, you can add an image. So suppose that I choose maybe like this image right here. Maybe I can start with this one and then shorten it. Maybe I can add another frame that would be something like another video that I've created, maybe something like this. And then I could also select another frame, maybe something like this video where they're all, you know, in the, in the water. Now, when you select create, it will basically try to seamlessly transition between these three scenes. Um, if it sees that there's a way in which it can kind of zoom in, zoom out, it will do that automatically for you. So I think that's what's really cool is you can use it for not just video creation, but also video editing. So that is pretty much how I created all of the videos or all of the frames for the videos. And then for the music, I used Suno. Now, I have a completely free Suno account. And I think that the free accounts have like a certain number of credits that they are allowed to use per month. And the prompt that I used was something like Nepali, um, folk, music, guitar, acoustic, um, add happy tunes. And I gave maybe something like 120 BPM or something. And then I asked it to create this. And then here we can see that it's pretty quick in being able to generate songs. So it took only about maybe 10 seconds or so. <laughs> that was really nice. Um, maybe I should have just used that one um, in the ad. Should I? No, it's it's too late. But anyways, so yeah, Sora.com and then Sino to create all of the music in the background. And those are pretty much the only two tools that I use. So this was an ad for Kathmandu, Nepal. Um, maybe in another project, I might do an ad for a product. So if you have a specific product in mind that you wanted to create an advertisement on, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make that for my next video. 
And with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. Um, if you want me to cover similar topics in the future, then please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and I wish you a great rest of your day. Goodbye.